So this is the tale of taking too much. I took 10 tabs of LSD and I have bipolar disorder type 1 and generalized anxiety disorder. This is going to be an abridged version of this video. I will create a more comprehensive version later on. But uh, let's get started here. So um, why did I take so much? Um, previously I had taken six tabs at one time and it wasn't strong enough for me. Um, what I seek when I, when I take psychedelics is full God realization. Um, which sounds like, um, a very bullshit thing to some, an ego-based thing to some, um, thinking that you could become God. Um, but I can assure you to at least varying levels, you can become God. It is fully within your grasp. And um, it's just a question of, do you want to uh, take the risk and do the things that are necessary to, to get yourself there? Because um, it's not a quick and easy road to God. Um, or at least, if you use psychedelics, it might be quick and it might be easy, but it might be a little bit rocky. For me, my trip of taking these 10 tabs was actually great. There were no issues with the trip itself from my perspective of how I experienced it. It was in no way what one would deem a bad trip. Um, I did uh, one illegal thing that was uh, pretty risky, which was in full God consciousness. Um, running down my street naked and then stopping to talk to a family on their porch. This is in the middle of the night around 2 or 3 a.m. Um, but you have to understand that, yes, this is a risky thing to do, but when you're in a God consciousness mode, um, your power of vibration is exponentially increased. So, if, if extraterrestrials came to Earth and um, the first place that they stopped, and the, the super technologically advanced extraterrestrials came to planet Earth, and they wanted to extinguish our species, and they came up against one being, one entity, and that was me, while I was on 10 tabs of LSD, they would have been defeated. It sounds crazy. It sounds a little bit fantastical. But it is simply the truth. Consciousness trumps all. Except for that which is beyond consciousness. That it, which is not beyond. Behind consciousness. And that is source. So, um... I'm pacing around here. I'm trying to think exactly the best way to describe God consciousness to someone. Um, all I will say is uh, that the chakra system is very real and you can feel it open. You can feel your chakras open. Um, and on this high dose of LSD, I felt my throat third eye, and crown chakra all open at the same time. And with these being open simultaneously, you literally become your own version of the creator, the one infinite creator. Um, and that's just it. You become the creator. It's, it's as simple as that. Now, does that mean that whatever your ego wants in that moment, you can manifest it? Maybe. Um, it depends what state of God consciousness you're in. I mean, there are literally 
an infinite number of states of God consciousness, and I would argue that you are actually in one right now. It's just a very limited God consciousness state. A human being compared to an ant certainly seems like a god, does it not? Did the Native Americans... The Europeans were gods when they came and discovered the New World. In World War II, when pilots and, and other servicemen began landing on a, a Native island that had never been discovered before. Did they not treat these people as gods? Did they not build shrines to these gods? Pray to these gods? They did. They did all these things. Um, and one of the things I want to get to you in this video is that you are God. You're it. You're the thing. The, 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 the end. You're God. Just stop. Just fucking stop the thoughts, stop the resistance, you're the creator, you know, take that for what it is, learn from it what you will, that, that is the truth, you are the creator, um, and there is only one of you, and you seem to be separate from all these other entities in the world. But truly, it is all one thing. This is the law of one that Ra has taught us. Ra has taught us so much knowledge and wisdom through the law of one. Um, if you haven't read those books or listened to those books, they're free. Uh, up to almost book, the beginning of book three is free on YouTube as of now. If you're a serious metaphysical spiritual seeker um, and you haven't listened to the Law of One books, um, you're doing yourself a, a huge disservice. But anyway, we're talking about LSD. So, um, you know, I was in God consciousness. Um, one thing that I realized was that um, without a shadow of a doubt, that my current incarnation is the most perfect incarnation that has ever and will ever exist. Now, that sounds like a huge ego thing to say, but this is divine revelation, and I am not going to edit the divine revelation. It is what it is. Brandon Rowe went through many, many traumas to get to God realization. And that's why the fruit is so much sweeter when drank and tasted from the fruit of the life of Brandon Rowe. Brandon Michael Rowe. He is the incarnation. You are me. You are me and you will go through this incarnation as well. But um, I'm excited. I'm excited for you as me. Um, I'm excited for the day that, that you get to firsthand experience this life that I am going through right now. This is the dopest freaking life ever. Getting stuck in the psych ward, hating life, loving life, finding the infinite beauty in everything, getting only two hours of sleep because you're manic and then waking up in, with a realization into the spiral nature of of the fractal pattern of the universe. I mean, these are all great, beautiful things. Um, and they all belong, in a sense, to Brandon Rowe. I, they don't belong to me, necessarily, but uh, they are me. Um, and I've had such an amazing journey through life. Um, and I can't imagine, I'm only 24 years old. There's so much more. You know, there's so much more. There are so many more psychedelics to try. There's my mental illness to cure. Um, I might become president. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I really don't. Um, I'm going to let the Tao lead me. Um, the eternal Tao lead, lead me along the way. Um, and I might just be some lowly employee at some horrible company. Maybe that's what my existence will be, but it's still the best incarnation. Still the best incarnation. At least from my perspective, 
but I am seeing this from the perspective of a divine revelation to me. Um, now, I could be getting caught up in trying to say that this is a divine revelation, um, but that is certainly what it felt like. And um, if I'm true to myself and true to the experience, I will refer to it as a divine revelation. Um, and that's basically it. I mean, there was a lot more that happened with the trip, but um, I mean, I was tripping at a bar. <laughs> it's not something I recommend. Um, I, I didn't explain why I took 10 tabs. I took 10 tabs because I took, I was going to take five tabs um, because I previously had taken six and I wanted to have a strong experience. And then two to three hours later, I wasn't experiencing any effects. So I took the remaining five tabs that I had, figuring that it was just bad acid and that I got fucked over. And then my friends wanted to hang out and go to the bar. And I thought, you know what? I was really looking forward to tripping tonight. I'm not going to get to do that. This really sucks. Why not go to the bar? And, and right when I got to the bar, right when I got to the bar, uh, it hit me. It hit me like a, a, a ton of bricks. And um, I, was, I was a fucking space cowboy sitting there at a bar stool um, next to some white trash lady. And, you know, it was the most divine thing. <laughs> I mean, it's, that's just what it was. Um, I, I, I don't mean to, to be like mean when I say white trash, but that's the easiest way to describe her. So, um, yeah, this is just the, the reality is too, too fucking crazy. It's too great. It's, it's, there's so much to reality and people really hold themselves back by not using psychedelics if I can use psychedelics and, and live, if I can use 10 tabs of LSD with bipolar disorder, type 1, and generalized anxiety disorder, um, and be a landlord, and be a great friend, and be a great family member, then I think you can do it too. And I'm just so excited for the realms of DMT and ayahuasca. Um, and, and I'm excited to come back to the realms of psilocybin magic mushrooms. I really can't wait until then. In the meantime, um, I'm going to be taking a break from psychedelics. And I'm going to be uh, pursuing the route of traditional Western medicine to treat bipolar disorder and generalized anxiety disorder. Um, but ultimately to do ayahuasca, I will have to completely go off of all of my meds and, um, then there is a, I, I will have a manic episode. Um, but the shaman is there to guide me through that experience. So, um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a rough, rough in ways and it's going to be great in ways and that's life. It gives you the good and the bad, and uh, that's all you can expect from life, really. That's all you can expect. But yeah, um, let me know if you like this video. It was a really candid video, a really I don't give much of a shit at the moment video, um, and I hope you enjoyed that part of it, because uh, I it, it, it was a real video. Um, judge it for what you will. Um, give me a like. Give me a dislike. Give me a comment, um, share this video, spread it like the word of baby Jesus, um, you know, do whatever you want to do with it, uh, because I want this to get to more people because the more people that this video affects, the more people's lives can be changed by it and the better things can go. So help be my social lubricant and, uh, go disperse my message throughout the masses. Thank you, Adonai, per aspera ad astra, through hardship to the stars. With love and light of the infinite creator, I leave you now. Brandon Rowe.